Okay. Welcome to Suite 407. Want to come in? All right. So, we have a lot of fun here. Uh, welcome to our common area. There's Reggie. Uh, we've got some various decorations up and around. So, if we do a lot of that, I'll show you Sophie. Uh, Mira and Libby back down there. So, we have to go in. There's the bathroom. This is Sophie and I's room. Sophie. 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 There's Sophie. Maybe couldn't afford it for the suite, but I very much am the naked neighbor. <laughs> My name is Annie and I live in Not about it, this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Room. I live in suite 407. I think this is room C and I'm learning how to beatbox. Instead of doing my essay, that's due at 5 p.m. So it's that part that I can't do. I heard that there's not a lot of vocal percussionists at Clark and I really want to perform for people. So I'm trying to learn how to beatbox because I can't sing and I want to join an acapella group. This is Reggie. He's from Long Island. I believe he's an eight foot bear. He's a very important part of our home now. One day we took the trip to go get him, which is a three-hour drive, we thought, but then we took a ferry to Long Island, and we stuffed him in the back of the car, and he brought him home to us, and then when we got out of the car, there was a little bit of a mishap. All of us were throwing up, and we got him home, though. So, I've gone through quite a few hobbies since last year. Um, my current kick is scrapbooking, uh, mainly because I get to spend money on it. Um, I've done, I went through a painting phase during quarantine, bought a lot of canvases for that, sunk a lot of money down there. I think they're somewhere. Yeah, here's my painting stuff. <sighs> then I went through a crocheting phase. That's still going on. I have a half finished boob pillow that I'm still doing. This is one of my art, my, my pieces. It's supposed to be a cow, um, kind of looks like a pig, um, more. I did baking for a while, got sick of that really quickly. I'm thinking punch needling next. When Amira double doors, that's when you know she's taking her shit. Mira and Libby have this one friend named Abby, and she comes over all the time, like unprompted, just comes inside, and she sits down and we'll all be like doing homework and sitting around, and she's asking us to like go do karaoke, and she's screaming, and yeah, it's really awful. Sometimes Abby comes over to play Switch, eat and leave. We love her though. Yeah, I'm a hardworking woman. I work at a piece of Java. I like to bring back my roommate's coffee sometimes. Yeah, there was this weird smell in here for a while, and it turned out to be a pumpkin we left here since Halloween. So we pushed it out the window. This is where we threw the pumpkin. I really want to introduce Nevea. This is my child. She is a protector of this suite, and she is approximately one year old. Um, she was born last year during times of strife in the Clark community, and they were like, let's give them stuffed animals so that they can have mental health. So Amira got this stuffed animal, you see, and we were like, let's rip her face off. It was a bear originally, um, 
but then Nevea was born out of clay. So we get a little rowdy in the suite sometimes. We have a lot of energy, We're very busy people. We get super stressed. So people get hurt sometimes, very accidental. We love each other. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't find yeah. snuck on my <laughs> you were We love each other so much, but people get in the way of others' fists. Hair is pulled sometimes, people are growled at occasionally, it happens. And when all of our anger, not anger, because we love each other, aggression gets to, to the, the top about to burst, we have weekly fight nights. They usually start off with me innocently sitting in a chair and then Libby like doing this thing where she like bends over and then like runs at me and then of course I defend myself and then somebody else is like hey and then people are getting pushed people are getting shoved we move the table we go at it fight night begins nobody nobody ever gets hurt maybe like once or twice maybe a couple times people get hurt but that's why we have band-aids that's why Sophie has a pharmacy so we're always gonna be good Towards the beginning of the year, there was a fight about a half a banana that was left out for a few days and um, I said it wasn't me because the timing wasn't right. I didn't eat a banana during that time. But looking back, I it may have been something different. I just didn't want to admit anything because I've already been told that I'm the drama. Uh, I had a little chaos to the suite, which is Fine, but I don't want to take the fall for this one. Um, but I think it's time that I own up to it. During that period of time, I did use exactly a half a banana to put on peanut butter toast. What did you just say? Fucking knew it was her. So whenever my sweetmates get sick, I have whatever they need. I basically run a pharmacy here. We've got migraine relief, trazodone, sleep medicine, ibuprofen, um, but they can't have this one. This one's for me. It's 100 milligrams of Zoloft. Sometimes things get a little out of hand around here and all I can do is ignore it. Um, these biscuits popped and I pretended not to notice. I mean, things haven't always been easy here. I didn't plan on living here in the first place, but you know, I grew close with all these people and we created this space and it's taken a while, but I think we all have had our personalities come through and come forward in the space that we created together. And, you know, happy to, happy to be here even amidst the pandemic. What? Just this Oh, I like living here too. It's really nice to live here and everyone's my friend. I feel like I don't have to wear pants here, which is nice. 